We got my man Nick in the building. What's up, Nick? What's going on with you, brother? Man, what's up, fam? What you doing, bro? Hey, man, you got it, bro. What's going on with you? Hey, I won't. I won't be long. I'm sitting here on the desk. I'm. I'm answering my phones today. Oh, okay. but, bro, I'm telling you, I remember when Oprah, because you know I'm an old, dude. Mm. I remember when Oprah first came out, and you know I'm. You know, I was active duty, so you know, you know, hey, what? I don't know how it was in the Navy, but you know, whatever was on the TV in the day room, that it is what it was. You yep. know, uh, whoever was running CQ, whoever was the sergeant sitting on the desk, <laughs> that's yeah, just what it was. Exactly. Yeah, and that was my introduction introduction to her, and I'm like, why don't they just name this show Black Men Ain't S H I T? I mean that. Why, why don't they just call it that? And then I, I Lania, whatever her name is, I just cause dude, I done a live stream on that one that you was talking about, where that chick, where that woman lied and said that the father had, you know, uh, touched the the girls and whatnot. Yeah, I done a live stream on that one, bruh. Most people was cool with it, and I know you know this as a content creator. You got people. That I have some beef and animosity, but they won't put it on the screen in the chat because they know they on the wrong side of it. They email it to you mm -hmm. and they know if you air the email out, because what is it? It's Gmail. Who owns Gmail? Google. Yeah. Right. Who owns YouTube? Google. So the only thing they and that's how they get you. They try to bait you in and then they claim. Uh, what is it? Um. Not harassment. What is it? A uh, hate speech, right? Yeah. When you when you retaliate, and then there you go. You even got a strike on your channel. So I don't even though they send me emails, I don't even respond. But bruh, I blame. Here, here go a twist for y'all. In this particular case, I blame Mister Football Player. Do the NFL because ain't that what they said? He is football player. Yeah. I put more blame on him in this case. You gave her the bat. Basically, it's like this, bro. He took up, picked up a bat and gave it to her to beat him and his son with. That's what he did. Dude, you could fix this behind the scenes. You ain't got to get on TV and try to fix what uh, whatever you effed up with your son. Okay, your wife, she moved away. Y'all got to vote. Look, it happens all the time, B. You ain't the only one, B. But oh, so, so getting on Oprah's show with Ilania is going to fix it? How was that fixing the son? How was that fixing the relationship between you and your son? You got this 13 year old boy surrounded by nasty ass fembots that's sitting up here that begrudge black men. And you gonna bring your son because, dog, they ain't just wake up, but they ain't go to bed and then wake up in the morning and they were sitting in the at the green room at Oprah's studio. That ain't how it went. How did you get there with your son? Why is his son sitting behind him and not next to him? You know they seat you in these in these shows, right? They ain't put why is why isn't your son sitting next to you? Get the dude. A lot of black men throw their lives into the fire for black women and in this case this dude is making the only thing he's doing is solidifying what black what feminists say about black men and he drug his own son to the fire with him now somebody called me a lie how did he get there how did he get there on that show and Alania just have walk up just like she just walking up to somebody in the audience to talk to him and they even had the, the words even queued up on the bottom of the screen. It's a plant. He's a plant. B bruh, I ain't getting up here with my boy. I ain't getting up here with Matt or Lawrence. Well, I don't have them problems with Matt or Lawrence, you know, but yeah, but I wouldn't have got up here with Agreed. either one of them boys. You know what I'm saying? And had them up here, but you couldn't offer me enough money to do that. You're more detrimental. This is more detrimental 
by giving the women the the I hate black men uh, coalition, you know, your girl, the one that don't like you, Mr. Fantasia, you know. Man, this is some bullshit. You know, just giving them all you doing, dog, is you giving them ammunition. Why are you giving ammunition? Why? That, I ain't going to curse on your platform. I don't do that. No, you good, man. Uh, no, I no, curse on my platform because okay. I ain't monetized. So I can curse on my platform. <laughs> so, bruh, you, all you doing is giving them, them, uh, now I know what your B-A-B-G stand for, but I call them the bitter ass bit bit girls. Yeah. That's uh, <laughs> So I got a B-A-B-G for them too. That's all you doing is giving up. How many heifers is what was watching this show versus men? Hmm. And who watches this show? Exactly. It's the it's the chicks that don't that always say men ain't S H I T. City boy, city boy. Exactly, man. And like you said, unfortunately, like I said, the 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 time, the prime time, bro. That was that was Oprah had this shit on lock, and um before um. Anyala had her own show. Again, her and Oprah were doing that thing together. They were collabing. So to spread that out from that to, um, you know, Anyala doing the whole thing to where, you know, most of these black women or whatever somehow came back around to, you know, the black men being the problem, even though these black women are picking horrible dudes. Another one, Nick, I remember. Remember the, the girl that won the lottery in, in, I think it was North Carolina? The girl that hit the Powerball or whatever she had. Yeah, she and bailed her dude out. Yeah, and, ba- and, and spent over the thing, what, like $8 million or millions of millions of dollars for her drug dealer boyfriend? Mm-hmm. And Yala actually did the fucking interview with her, and we like, bro, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> what was that? What the bruh. heck was that? I guess what you say it, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's not, it's, 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 it's never, it's never the black woman's fault. The black woman's never accountable. It's always the dad that's not there. It's always something that happened in the past. Is any everything other than fucking hey the decisions you're making and the choices you're making in life, um you know up until now like you said bro nothing positive had to say again Oprah we oh, just not even just a show man again going back to the color purple one of the biggest you know um, black misandrous fucking and probably the most famous black misandrous um story movie in in the history of mankind bro. You know, Mr. Just, you know, just whooping ass and Mr. Just whooping ass. Yeah. Yeah. Whooping ass and chasing Suge Avery and bringing other holes in the house and, and, you know, all this, all this other shit, man. And lo and behold, you know, just this, this, this thing to where, you know, the black women had no help from nobody. You know, every you black man. You remember the part of the movie? Street. You remember the part of the movie where Mr. was on Whoopi? Doing his handling his business while holding a picture of Suge Avery looking at it. Now, I don't remember that, but that's why. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. When I saw that part in the movie, I was like, okay, I'm done. Because <laughs> I didn't know, I mean, because you know, the way the movie was sold, because I say, because you know, I'm yeah. an old dude. The way the movie was sold, I, you know, I mean, I went, I can't remember who I went to the movie with, but. And when I saw that part of the movie, he on, he doing his thing to Whoopi while he holding Suge Avery picture. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, that, that's wild, man. That's wild, bro. Come here, some you, but but not. Nah. But yeah, man, that, that's wild, man. I just, that whole movie in itself, Nick. Uh, you know the on the whole on top of me thing, like the man, how he die. On top of me, like on top the, of me. The, the, yeah. The only the I, I don't even was there any positive black man in that movie? Uh, you, you uh, Mister's daddy. That's about it. Nah, he was an asshole. Yeah, but he hey, but but was he correct? Yeah, he was correct. But that's all still, that matters. <laughs> he, he was still he was still uh, portrayed as an asshole. I think the only person that was portrayed as a uh, remotely good dude was the the preacher. The preacher that was in there and and Suge yeah, Suge's Suge's daddy. Yeah. yeah, that was that was the only guy you know, and you know that was the only guy in that movie that was positive. Everybody else was just a you know a piece of shit, a deadbeat. A man, Mister Mister's daddy was cool. Look, man, he came in. He what he but what did he tell him? Everything Mister, t- I mean everything he told his son. I mean, think about it. 
you know, uh, uh, they, they all got the same daddy. I can vouch for that. He said, boy, you can't vouch for nothing. You just another, what do he say? You just another, uh, another roost in the hen house or something like that. Another one in the stable or something like that. And he was right. Everything, uh, uh, Caesar, uh, told, uh, uh, mister was actually factually correct. I'm just, you know, I mean, it, it, they just had, and he was always clean. Every time you seen him, he was souped down. And they but saying, uh, Suge's boyfriend, Suge boyfriend, he a clown. It's Suge Avery. Suge Avery? Yep. Suge I Avery mean, come on. I mean, think about it, dog. The, the original, the original ho, the original thought, thought. Yeah. Are you kidding me? But man, look here. Look, dude, you know who Suge Avery is? And you gonna travel with her? You her man? To get that nasty woman's disease. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, yeah, you know him. Yeah, Suge was by yep, Suge done it with uh with Whoopi, Gail. Yeah, you right. Uh oh, you just saying how they portrayed him. Okay, cool. Okay, that's cool with me.